Okay, we've made it to the top of the steps here. As soon as you walk up the steps, you can go right. Going right, you do have a linen closet right here, just off to the to the right across from the full bath, guest bath. We've got one bedroom here, second bedroom there, and the third bedroom is just around the corner. And then I am standing in the master suite, so let me back up. And here is the master suite. We're going to take a look at it first. Massive bedroom here. Thing's absolutely huge. As you can see as I'm panning around here, extremely long bedroom. You've got plenty of space to put a king size bed, dresser, two dressers if you wanted to, end tables, TV, and probably still enough space to set up a little sitting area here if you wanted to. So it is a massive bedroom for sure, especially in a four bedroom home. A lot of these four bedroom homes, you have to sacrifice in the master suite and this is not what you're doing here. Master suite is absolutely amazing. Does have the double sink plus the little vanity space. Also has a full walk-in closet. Exactly what you'd expect from a master suite is the double sink and the walk-in closet. Now let me shut the bedroom door here real quick. And it's gonna take us into the rest of the bathroom facilities. You see here we do have a linen closet, full-size stand-up shower, and commode in its separate walled off room. And so an absolutely stunning master, master suite as far as the size goes. You've got the double sink, the vanity, as well as a large room. Now one unique option that I really like about this master suite, and this really applies if you have small ones, is this room will connect into the room right next to it. So we're gonna look at bedroom number two here. Now this would be a good setup for a nursery for sure. Um, I know how it is when you have the little ones, you always want them as close as you can, but sometimes not in the same room. And this offers you that ability to where you can put them in the room right next to you and just walk right through to bedroom number two if you want to and check on the little ones. This one here has a very kid friendly ceiling fan. Nice size bedroom here as well. Now we're gonna kind of work our way backwards versus what we seen walking up the steps since we're coming out of the little bedroom. Here's bedroom number three. Very nice size bedroom as well. Now like I was saying, typically in these four bedroom units, one of the bedroom sacrifices, and it's usually either the master bedroom that's extremely small or one of the other three bedrooms that are extremely small. And in this house, that is not the case. All four bedrooms have nice size closets, lots of space inside of them. And we're gonna work our way into the fourth bedroom here. And again, as you can see, another very nice sized bedroom. Plenty of space in each and every one of these. Ceiling fan in here. We talked about the solid wood six panel doors. And back to the hallway, and then this is where we came up right here, because right here is our guest bath. Now this also has a double sink. As you can see, the cabinetry is in good shape. Backsplash, tile work on the tub is in great shape as well. Large mirror, huge guest bathroom. Does have a laundry chute system as you see. All right, I'm gonna meet you down in the basement. We're gonna take a quick tour of the basement.